Today, I'll be taking you through the process of setting up a Python virtual environment and to be specific on a Linux machine. It is basically uh, almost the same process as we do it on Windows, but I will be creating a separate video on how to do it on Windows. Just to try and understand a virtual environment, we term it as an essential tool that is used for managing project dependencies and isolating them from system-wide packages. So let us see what is required of you to uh, to set up a virtual environment and we are going to do it in two ways. So uh, the very first thing that uh, we also need to appreciate is that virtual environment we do set it up specifically for Python applications. This is how to do it. You first of all need to ensure that Python is installed on your system. So the way to do that, let us check. First of all, check on uh, Python. Python version. It's not found. Let us also check on Python 3. It's not found as well. So I'll be installing Python on my machine. So we have apt. Basically, um, I'm running these commands as uh, the root. So no need to have sudo. So we have sudo apt install python3 all right so basically once that installation is complete let me just clear the screen we can talk of uh, python python3 version and we see that we have python3.11.2 all right so uh, I'm assuming you probably want to uh, to install a virtual environment so that um, you can set up Django or Flask. So this is the process that we are going to follow because it essentially starts from installing Python. Then the rest of the dependencies will be installed on the virtual environment. All right. So uh, method one of creating a virtual environment. We basically create a virtual environment with a specific Python version in mind. So the way to do it, we are going to install uh, the current versions VNV package. And this is how to do it. So we have sudo apt install. Then we have Python 3. So basically the way to uh, the way to know which uh, which Python VNV that we are going to work with. So we basically check on the major version and the minor version. We do not work with the patch. So this should be Python 3.11 then VENV, right? And uh, since remember, in my case, I'm already logged in as the root user, I do not need this sudo here. So let me remove sudo and then press enter right so once that is done let me clear my screen so once that is done it's now time to create the virtual environment and the way to do it we have python 3 we have hyphen m then we have venv so that's the standard then in here we need to mention the name that we want to give to um to the virtual environment right so I can simply call it my VENV, right? That's sufficient. Press enter. But remember this name, you can just give it any name of your choice. All right, so let me, let me check. So we have my virtual environment created here. And uh, once you create a virtual environment, you now need to activate it. Creating it is not enough. The next stage should be activating it. So the way to activate virtual environment and this is specifically on uh, Linux distribution we talk of source then my VNV then we have bin then we have activate so you will note that something will change here please check right let me press enter and we see that 
uh, we are now sitting on a virtual environment all right so in here we can try to install some pip dependencies so that uh, we can probably get started with whatever project we wanted to work with so maybe we can install django pip install django right just note that that has been installed in the virtual environment remember if for instance i wanted now to proceed and get started with django then i can just do it from this point remember i can just type in django admin maybe let me just press enter and we see a list of commands that we can use right so let me clear the screen then let me just deactivate this deactivate and we see we have gone we have gone back to uh, the global environment so in here if we type in django admin then we see that django has not been installed in the global environment all right so the second way of uh, uh, creating a virtual environment this is the way to do it um, we are going to to install python 3 virtual env so there's the way to do it so we talk of sudo apt we install python 3 then in here we are going to talk of virtual virtual env all right I'll remove sudo in your case check if you need it yes and give it time all right uh, so the installation has been completed just to go back to the command that we have used here we just used python 3 and that's enough we do not need to check on the uh, on the major version and the minor version we just work with python 3 that is uh, if python 3 is installed on your system right so once that is done the next thing will be creating a virtual environment and uh, let me clear my screen so this is how to create the virtual environment so we are going to talk about virtual env and then we mention the name that we want to give to our virtual environment so let me just give it my virtual env2 because remember we created the first one eh? so just press enter and um, you get some output there i believe that should be a success message let me erase and we see that we have the second one here the way to activate what we just created is still the same as we had in the we had before so let me talk of source my v and v2 beam activate and there we go we see now that we are now sitting on my env2 all right so in this one we can try installing frask as uh, as the dependency that we want to start with so we can talk of pip install frask right and we see that frask has been installed and um, whenever you want to to see a list of the uh, dependencies that have been installed you can talk of pip freeze right and we see a list of dependencies so probably these the rest were installed alongside frask and once you wrap up creating your project you require to have a correction of uh, of these dependencies saved in uh, requirements.txt file so what you should do we usually talk about pip freeze then we have that then we talk about requirements.txt this is very crucial uh, especially when now moving your project to production you require this file to easily install the dependencies in your production server right so uh, the commands that uh, we have used in creating in creating the virtual environment have been included in the description of this video please check it out and 
that marks the end of this video i believe this video was helpful if you are not a subscriber to this channel kindly be sure to uh, subscribe drop your thoughts in the comment section and give a thumbs up to this video thank you and goodbye